What is up guys? It's your boy, all aboard the Hype Train Caucus, and today, oh my goodness, on a random Wednesday afternoon, I'm in the middle of editing a completely different video, Bungie drops the official teaser trailer for the Final Shape expansion. The final expansion, the conclusion, the finale to the Light vs. Darkness saga coming out in presumably 2024. Guys, let's take a look at this thing in its entirety and then we're going to analyze it. I don't even know where to begin. You've missed so much. We've slain gods. Vanquished nightmares. Fought alongside those who we once fought against. I wish you could have been there. Yeah, me too, kiddo. But hey, I'm here now. Wherever the hell here is. Oh my god, like, Cade's back. Cade 6, whose death, like, completely revitalized the Destiny franchise. Like, you've got to put this into context for the fact that when Cade died in Forsaken, it was a huge narrative shift in tone especially, right? Destiny 2, vanilla, the launch, did not go well. You know, this game was bleeding players. Like, things really did have to turn around. And by killing off Cade 6, like this fun, campy character, it really signaled to everyone, like, no, we're taking everything in a more serious tone. And you're doing that by literally, uh, symbolically, killing off the old guard, killing off the old symbol of destiny to embark on a new pathway. So again, that's super important to contextualize that them killing off Cade 6 was a huge deal and I would have never expected him to return. Now, um, could you argue that returning Cade 6 somewhat lessens that symbolism and signals that Bungie is returning to their old ways? And I mean, the Lightfall expansion narratively was not received super well, and a lot of people criticized it for Bungie going back to the completely gibberish storytelling that doesn't reveal anything. Yeah, but... I think overall, it's not really worth looking too deep into it. It's they're just bringing an absolutely iconic and still like loved character back. And it's an absolutely genius twist from a marketing perspective to get people excited about the final shape. But let's go ahead and break down what Bungie shows in this trailer. So Ikora is talking around uh, the fire and the first scene we see is a hunter with the Iron Banner drip, then they're gonna, it looks like they activate an arc ability, honestly, at first, but then they're kind of charging at Savathun with, it looks like Spectral Blades. Who's gonna use Spectral Blades against Savathun? Have you played that mission, Bungie? <laughs> that's, that's a big no-no. But then we see uh, the Titan with the Trials of Osiris drip, uh, then do a big Thunder Crash against Rahulk, and then we still see that same uh, Titan but we also have uh, this warlock planting their well of radiance. You know, even in their cutscenes, people are crutching on well, what can I say? But you have all three characters uh, present here, as well as we do see uh, Cadel and Mithrax as our allies. And then of course, we have the big Cade 6 reveal. Now, the first thing I wanna point out is look at his weapon, the Ace of Spades. It's back, it's clearly some version of the Ace of Spades, but there's something different about it. And that thing different is that you can see light pouring out of these cracks. And this is extremely similar to the Traveler's Chosen exotic sidearm. As you can see right here, when it's at full 10 out of 10 stacks of its gathering light, you know, it, it is the exact same effect really as what we're seeing with the Ace of Spades in the trailer. So that's really hinting that there's a huge amount of light energy flowing through both this weapon and it's almost guaranteed that when Final Shape comes out, we're going to get this weapon as a new exotic, right? It's not, we're going to have the Ace of Spades, but we're going to have a brand new exotic, the Ascended Ace of Spades or whatever, uh, with a new exotic ability. Uh, I guarantee it. 
or it's gonna be an ornament you can purchase for silver. It's one of those two guys. But then like the important thing is that when you see Cade talk, when he opens his mouth and if you look closely at his eyes, you can see that same like glowing light effect that's in the Traveler's Chosen, that's in this repaired Ace of Spades in him, in Cade 6. Like look at his eyes, the, the light wisps coming out of his eyes. And so that would indicate that that massive influx of the power of the light, that massive influx of light energy is both in him and his weapon. So something happened to absolutely bombard this guy with light and then resurrect him from what should have been an, an irreversible death. But then the other big reveal in this trailer is the very end where Cade says, we're here, wherever the hell here is, and you see a vista in front of you. Guys, it seems that they're inside the portal that the witness opened on the Traveler. Now, the Traveler right now is just completely out in space. Like, this would not be the view from Earth looking up at the Traveler. The portal is on the completely wrong side, facing away from Earth, you know, at first. And again, like, it just wouldn't make sense. You just see the portal, you don't see the Traveler around it. And that's very interesting because that ties in with what just happened in the opening cutscene for Season of the Deep, right? It, it was a guardian who tried to go into the portal and was like cut in half, basically was killed. And so somehow we figure out a way, likely through this year's seasons and events, to get inside this portal. And this is a glimpse of what inside of the portal actually looks like. And what's really fascinating is that just looks like a lovely place, right? You got nature, you've got the flowing river, you've got a waterfall. Like this is very strange that this is inside of this interdimensional portal that the witness was desperately trying to get to is just like a nice, nice looking place. However, if you look very closely, you can notice some very interesting things about this landscape. First of all, if you look right here beyond this rock, you can see there's actually a structure. There's like a wire in between these two kind of poles jutting out uh, from this like rocky outcrop. So this isn't completely primordial, not like a, a lost wilderness or something like that. Something, some intelligent life has been here and built stuff, right? Then if you look really far in the distance near this waterfall, you have what are either rocks, kind of hard to tell, like either a rock formation, but to me, honestly, this looks like, like a, medieval village, right? You have all these little huts with thatched roofing kind of arranged here. At least that's what it kind of looks like to me. But then guys, of course, we end things off with the Destiny Showcase announcement. Tune in to learn more on August 22nd. Now, that is the exact day that Season of the Deep ends. So that's gonna be the start of the uh, new summer season that day. And we've had this several times before, essentially early in the morning, uh, something like 8 a.m. Pacific, Bungie shows off a big presentation about kind of the year to come and a lot of information about the final shape. And we get all that information and then we're right into the next season. So that also means that we're likely not gonna learn very much about the next season, season 22, because every time Bungie does this, all of the stuff about the next season is revealed the day before because a lot of it ties in to themes of the upcoming big expansion, in this case, the final shape. And guys, there's actually another massive piece of news that dropped at the same time this teaser trailer came out, and that is Bungie's new game. Playing in the background is the trailer for Marathon. That's right, the really old school Bungie IP Marathon. There are several Marathon games that has been resurrected and it's an all new sci-fi extraction shooter as you can see from the official Twitter account right here. So extraction shooter is the same genre as Tarkov, as Call of Duty DMZ, where you have a squad of players, you go in, you fight 
usually AI and other players, you get loot and you try to extract. So somewhat similar to Battle Royale, but with a lot more PvE and elements introduced as well. Super up and coming and popular genre of video game. The fact that Bungie is dipping their toes into that pool is super exciting. And we're likely going to see like some marathon info at this huge Bungie Destiny showcase or around the same time. So really crazy day for Bungie news. Yeah, I overanalyzed the heck out of this, but I'm hyped myself and of course I'm gonna do that. So I hope you enjoyed this video, found this interesting. If you did, please remember to help me out by simply rating and especially sharing this video. If you guys wanna see more Destiny 2 content similar to this, don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button. If you wanna get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, the best way is to follow me on Twitter at Rick Kakis. That is linked in the description down below. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video and as always, have a good day.